Today, I signed one Ghanaian player until Newcastle win the Champions League. Objective is going to be pretty hard considering their biggest ever talents are Jordan and Andrew Ayew. Thank you. But as long as we keep Luis Suarez far away from them, we should be fine. But like I said, we'll be taking over Newcastle signing one Ghanaian player per season until we win the Champions League. But you guys may be wondering, who can we sign in this video? As long as they represent the Ghanaian national team and FIFA, we can go ahead and sign them. And for the record, I can also sign in Ketia and Hudson Odoi since they decided to represent Ghana in real life. Yes! Yes! Yeah. There are only two rules to this video. We can only send one player per season and he has to be Ghanaian. And the second rule, if we have any Ghanaians in the squad, they have to be playing. However, this Newcastle side doesn't have a single Ghanaian in the squad, so we have a fresh start today. Okay, starting off in season number one, we do have 39 million to spend. So for the first time, I did mention him at the start of the video. It is Eddie Agatia, and as you can see, he is Ghanaian now. He isn't the highest rated, but I totally want to utilize him in the side because he has huge potential. Okay, we successfully traded Chris Wood for Eddie and Ketia, wasting no money this season. Okay, let's go ahead and give Eddie and Ketia a development plan. I think I'm going to go for the obvious poacher but let's go ahead and sim to the end of the first season and let's see how this Newcastle side does okay at the end of season one Eddie and Ketia and Cole finish in 10th place you know what I'll take it as for the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup we don't really care too much about it okay Liverpool have won that one as for the Carabao Cup it is going to be Chelsea a 10th place finish did not face and Ketia as he went up a plus six now out of 78 rated okay but it's time to see how many goals he scored because we only care about the Ghanaian players in our team and we only have one and he went ahead and got top goal scorer and tied with Alex and Maxima 19 goals and one assist is not a bad season for a 23 year old Eddie and Ketia. But let's go ahead and go to season number two and let's see what other Ghanaian player we can sign for the next season. Okay, season number two, we have been blessed with 84 million. That is a lot of money. The Premier League is so OP with money, man. But I think it's only fair. We signed one new Ghanaian, we have to sign the other. So we're gonna go ahead and sign Callum Hudson Odoi. And as you guys can see, he is Ghanaian as well. Okay, for 50 million dollars, we have brought in Callum Hudson Odoi. I cannot believe he never got an England call up, man. But it's time to go ahead and update these development plans for these two players. And Ketia is gonna stay at poacher. We're gonna go ahead and give Callum Hudson Odoi inverted winger. But let's go ahead and sip to the end of the season. Let's see how they do in season number two. Okay, at the end of season number two, Enketia and Cho let them to 11th place. You know what? I am not mad. This team is growing together. As for the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, we don't care too much about it. But Sheffield United somehow win the FA Cup versus Burnley. Of course, Burnley's in the final. And Carabao was won by Everton. As we take a look at this side, it doesn't seem like the attack is a problem. And Enketia at an 82 and Hudson Odoi at an 83. We definitely need to invest in some Ghanaian center backs for the side. Okay, let's see how Cho and Eddie and Enketia did this season. Top goal scorer was given to St. Maximum. Who cares? And Enketia scores 15 goals and Hudson Odoi scores 11 and has eight assists a very good season from him but it's a very good second season we did not really get we maintained somewhat our position but let's go ahead and go to season number three let's see who we can sign in the next season okay season number three we have been given 80 million yeah I don't think money is gonna be an issue in this video I know a lot of Ghanaian fans are gonna be shouting at me once I reveal who I signed I know I can sign Kudus but I'm gonna save them for later we're gonna go ahead and sign Mohamed Salisu from the best club in the world okay 45 million plus Fabian Shara has brought in Salisu to the side now let's go ahead and give Salisu a development plan as well as the rest of the Ghana players and let's go ahead and give Salisu let, let's let's give him a sweeper man let's go ahead and sip to the end of season number three hopefully around the top eight would be fine okay at the end of season number three we have finally bolted up to the table in sixth place that is a huge achievement man that's for the FA Cup Carabao Cup can we win our first trophy no City have won it and the Carabao was won by City again but boys look at the growth Eddie and Ketia had an 87 I did not expect them to grow this fast Hudson Odoi a little bit more disappointing at an 85 and we have Salisu at an 84 okay let's go ahead and check the stats of these three players let's go ahead and start with Mohamed Salisu how many clean sheets he got three clean Sheets is not too bad. Zero goals though. Who was the top goal scorer of this season? And of course, it's Eddie and Ketia with 25 goals and three assists, while Hudson Odoi had 13 and 9. So far, all of our Ghanaian signings have worked out for the better of us. Let's go ahead and go to season number four. I we might have European football. I do believe we finished in six. So let's go ahead and see who we can sign for next season as well. Yeah, in season number four, 106 million. Yeah, money is no problem in this video. Yes, I know I'm passing up the chance on signing Kudus again. I'm sorry, but we need another center back. We're gonna go ahead and sign Joseph Ayudu, a decent center back from the Ghanaian national team. Okay, 26 million plus Dan Burn. We have signed Ayudu to the side but let's go ahead and add a development plan to joseph how you do his potential is in 81 i hope he can surpass that at this some point in this video so we're gonna go ahead and give him a sweeper but let's sim to the end of season four we might have european football this season and let's see how we do okay boys at the end of season number four we have finally cracked into the top four finishing in fourth place as for the FA cup Carabao cup can we win a trophy everton win the fa and the Carabao cup was won by wolves as for the europa league we were in it did we somehow win the trophy and yes we have we've beaten milan out of all sides milan have such a strong team man one trophy to our names but it doesn't matter because we need Need to win the Champions League. And boys, Eddie and Ketia's growth has been insane, bro. 90 rated. Hudson Odo 89. I can't expect that, but Ketia, wow. Mohamed Salisu has reached 85, while I do. 
82 is not too bad. I didn't expect them to grow that much. But let's go ahead and check these stats. Let's go ahead and check I do and Salisu. How many pieces did they get a piece? 12 for Salisu and I do got three. That is what? That is weird. But as for the top goal scorer, is it Enketia or is it Hudson Odoi? And we're going to go ahead and give it to Enketia. 25 goals once again, 17 and 6 for Hudson Odoi. Boys, it's an amazing season. Winning the Europa League and finishing in fourth. There's no way we're not qualifying for the Champions League. Let's go ahead and go to next season. And we're probably going to sign Kudus. Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay, in season number five, we have 199 million. There's no point in showing the money. We're always going to have a lot. Okay, yes, boys. It was time that we signed Mohamed Kudus. So let's go ahead and sign him up. Okay, 72 million has brought Kudus to the side. Okay, currently at an 84 rated. Let's go ahead and give him his development plan. I think I'm going to go for, let's go for Shadow Striker, man. But now let's step to the end of season number five. Our first season in the Champions League. Can we somehow win it already? Okay, boys. At the end of season number five, we have somehow won the league title by three points, beating out Chelsea, bro. Oh my God. This Ghanaian are actually really good in this video. FA Cup. We did not win it. Carabao Cup, please give it to us. And no. Okay, we were in the Super Cup, though. Did we somehow win it? And yes, we did. Two trophies for us this year. But boys, our first season in the UEFA Champions League. Did we somehow win it first try? And no, City have won it. We lost in the round of 16. Yeah, we lost to Barca on pens. But boys, these Ghanaians don't stop growing. And get the 92. Hudson Odoi 92. Kudos at an 86. Didn't grow that much. I do group a plus one to an 83. Salisu also grew a plus one to an 86. But boys, it's time to check these stats. I do and Salisu. 12 clean sheets for you do and Salisu with 11. Top goal scorer is going to be Enketia once again with 31 and 6 assists and Hudson Odoi with 20 goals and 8 assists while Kudus had a disappointing season. 2 goals and 1 assist. But it's a good season nonetheless. We won the league title that means we're in the Champions League once again. Hopefully we can win it in season number 6. Okay season number 6 yeah 268 million let's move on. Okay so there is one more Ghanaian talent who has a lot of potential and his name is Kamaldin Sulemana. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. This is a player I've never heard about so hopefully he does well. He is a left mid and a striker. I have changed him to a striker because I'm going to use him up there. Okay, so we have changed the formation to fully fit our attacking talent. Suleiman up top next to Enketia. Kudus in that camp position. Hudson Odor in the right wing. And we have Ayudu and Salisu in the back. But you guys know the drill. Let's give a development plan and let's sim to the end of the season. Hopefully, we can win that Champions League already. Okay, it's the end of season 6 and we have back-to-back -back league titles. Oh my god, this Ghana inside is doing very well so far. At least the people we have. Community Shield, can we win that as well? That is a double so far. FA Cup, give it to us. Give us a triple. United have won it. Carabao Cup, give it to us. Come on, please. No, Liverpool have won it. But the Chime Music, we've been waiting all video. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm really back inside to win it this year. But let's go ahead and check. Please don't. I don't want to do another season. And let's go, boys. We'll be the Leipzig out of all teams in the final. But this Ghana inside has won the Champions League. I'm so glad we don't have to do another season. There isn't a lot of players with a lot of potential from Ghana, man. But we did finish this video with six Ghanaians in that team. Sulemana at an 88. Enketi at an 94. Kudus at an 87. Hudson Odoi at an 92. Aidu at an 84. Absolutely outgrew his potential. And Salisu at an 88. But let's go ahead and check the stats one last time. Enketi is the only Ghanaian player to get top goal scorer. Can he continue that? And... No, Suleimana beat him on his first season with 30 goals and 13 assists as well. Enketia right behind, continuing his amazing form. 29 goals. Kudus with 17 goals and 6 assists. And Hudson Odoi, 6 and 3. As for our defenders, Ayudu and Salisu both got 7 clean sheets apiece. But boys, that is the end of this video. We signed one Ghanaian player until Newcastle won the Champions League. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to click that like button and the subscribe button. We're trying to reach 3k by the end of the week. If you guys have not checked out my last video, make sure to check it out. I tried Marcus Rashford at Salford City.